Hello and welcome. This is Rufamonger. And my friends, I got some pretty exciting news for you because DNF Duel looks like DNF Duel is making a comeback in a pretty big way. Now, if you've been following along with the FGC at all, you probably know DNF Duel came, made a splash, and sort of faded away a little bit. Let's you let's just be real, right? That's kind of what happened. Uh, mostly because, you know, we had uh, the one balance patch didn't really change too much, right? And the game's balance was definitely at the heart of things. And, well, hey, let me tell you, not only are we getting a balance patch, and a pretty big one, uh, we're also getting the single most anticipated character for the game. So let's talk about it. So that character, who exactly is that character? Well, that is the Spectre. If you recall the lead up to the launch of DNF Duel, this was basically wildly the most requested character, like overwhelmingly so. I remember every single YouTube video I made, everyone like, where's the Spectre, where's the Spectre, where's the Spectre? So who exactly is the Spectre? Well, imagine if a samurai got crossed over with a super secret agent. That is the Spectre. One of the classes in Dungeon Fighter Online, naturally. And to my understanding, the Spectre is not only the most popular character in Dungeon Fighter Online, it is also wildly so the most popular character. Uh, when the character showed up, made a big splash, and basically never went away. And now, super cool secret agent samurai lady is making her way to DNF Duel. Now, what's she gonna play like? We don't have much details on that just yet, other than the fact that she's apparently a pretty long-range character, but geez, just about everyone is in DNF Duel, to be honest, right? But she's a pretty long-range character, and she is quote-unquote quite unique. No exact word on when she's coming out, but hopefully quite soon, because we also have the big balance patch, long awaited, long anticipated, and that is coming out this month. It's big enough that they're calling it the grand balance patch. So how do you make a grand balance patch? Well, you make over a hundred changes and all those changes are straight buffs. That's pretty grand in my book. Some of the buffs are shown in this very trailer, so we'll go over that in a little bit. But yes, besides that, also all the defensive systems are getting buffs. Every character is getting more hit points and more guard gauge to work with. Also, awakening skills, those are your super moves. Those are also being buffed across the board. So Hitman player is probably really uh, happy about that. More defensive buffs yet, because the evade, that's your roll. That is also getting buffed. Roll debatably useful, especially against certain characters, now getting better, and guard cancel! Ever want to save yourself from the striker and then it didn't really matter and you died anyways? Well, hopefully guard cancel being fixed along with more guard gauge, along with more health, can fix a lot of that, coming this December. So that's a lot, right? So new character, the most popular character in the entire franchise, that's a pretty good character to add, new changes for the balance and all positive and over a hundred changes, and some of the big changes are to the defensive system, and defense is uh, <laughs> definitely one of the issues of DNF Duel. Like, you're looking at the uh, Grand Finals right now at the Arc Revo Tournament, and wouldn't you believe it, the Striker just completely steamrolls the other character. What a shocker, right? Uh, so defense, more health, more guard gauge, better guard cancels, better rolls. This is something the game definitely needs. And also, on top of all that, the game is coming to Switch. No details past that exactly. We don't have crossplay yet. That could be added down the road. Uh, but yeah, the game is also coming to Switch. So that is another platform for you to play the game on. So if there was ever a reason to reinstall the game and just, you know, see what's up, see what's going on again, this patch is absolutely the reason to do so. Now, I did mention the trailer showcased some of the buffs. So let's go into that trailer again and let's see what we can find. How about Vanguard? Some massive changes just right out of the gate. So how it normally works is you do your magic move and then you can do one of the follow-ups, right? Uh, now in the trailer, they're doing it a little bit differently. Now it looks like he can cancel the startup of his MS button into the follow-up immediately, meaning he has all the follow-up options out of the gate as their own moves. Like to call this as a buff is not a big enough move. This is very literally a game changer that completely changes the way the character wants to play. It means at bare minimum, he has armor mostly on demand now, as you can see, on top of being able to do his guard break moves and all that kind of stuff. All the follow-ups are available now. For one of the, and let's just call it what it is, one of the worst characters in this game, this is a massively huge buff, an incredibly big deal. 
And there's a lot more than that, obviously enough. Let's go to the Crusader. Uh, you see here, he's doing his counter to Bob the Inquisitor. Doesn't look anything out of the ordinary, right? You know, looks about what you would expect. You counter the move, and you hit the enemy. So what's the difference? Well, it's the fact that he's getting the counter off his lights. Uh, Crusader is not a character who can cancel his light attacks into any skill button at all. Other characters can do it, yes, not the Crusader. So if he can special cancel into the counter now, that means he can special cancel into the big hammer, the uppercut, and the fireball, giving him a wide more berth of offensive options to work with. Plenty more to go with too. How about the famed launcher? Always struggling around, right? The launcher always had problems. And looks like her uh, grenade launcher, that's her down skill. One, looks like it's now invulnerable against air attacks, invulnerable against jump ins, and it's also jump cancelable on hit, meaning you can get a combo after the fact. Pretty big buff. How about another lower tier hero, the grappler, one of my boys? So it looks like stomp and shoulder can now cancel into each other. Uh, this basically means, uh, unless they change how the moves work, but they said it's all buff, so I guess they wouldn't. Uh, this basically means he can combo you till he runs out of meter, as far as I can tell. Uh, so this is going to be pretty crazy. And just to cap off some of the examples that are shown in the trailer, once again, over 100 buffs, and once again, it's all buffs, and every character is getting changes. So that means even top tiers, like the striker, are getting buffs, right? So what's happening here, as far as I can tell, is her shoulder, which is projectile immune, that's how it already works, uh, she can run cancel it on hit to make sure she gets the wall combo, I guess, which is uh, definitely an extra layer of crazy for an already very good character. So for me, man, color me excited. Uh, I'll be the first to admit, like many other people, that Dean Abdul had his problems, right? And uh, as a fan of characters that, for the most part, just aren't really that viable at high-level play, considering how overwhelming the top tiers are, seeing everyone getting buffs and seeing defense getting a buff is a big deal. Uh, defense of uh, gauge, your block gauge getting buffed is great. Guard cancels getting buffed is great. Like your get off me, because there's very little get off me in this game. You're watching Grand Finals with Striker, and it's a pretty good example, right? Guard cancels your only actual chance of getting out, and so having that actually just be better and more useful is good. On top of the fact that it looks like it'll probably be much harder to get guard broken, and the fact that health is higher across the board, making this game less of like a 2-3 touch kind of game. I'm a big fan of all these choices. I'm a big fan of how just wild a lot of the characters are in this game. I've said it before, but the, the DNF dual character is usually like the boss version of whatever archetype they come from. But being able to actually play the game and instead of just being in forever lockdown is uh, just more fun, right? You want to play the neutral, neutrals where the fun of the games are to me in fighting games. So it looks like interesting buffs for all the characters and options to not be suffocated until you die. And honestly, that's about as good as I could ever hope for. And new character. Don't really know how she's going to play just yet, but once again, she's really popular, so that's going to make a lot of people very happy. So all that said, whenever the patch does come out, make sure to check the channel. I'll have full coverage on everything. And until that point, well, I guess we're at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well, and go out and play some DNF Duel.